This week is in addition to this being the last uh, meeting, international meeting of the three O conventions before Rio Plus 20, uh, we are also interested in uh, looking at their, um, with very close attention uh, to the, uh, their um, progress on the working group on agriculture is um, as, as uh, mandated by the COP in Durban. Um, is it agriculture going to be part and parcel of the solution on climate change or the, of the framework? This is something that uh, we look with very good eyes because it has another uh, interrelationship with the UNCCD convention mandate. Is agriculture an area that has been ignored by people? Well, it has been ignored at least by the, uh, by the agreement. Um, the agreement has been more focused on, on the energy and the economic side of the issues. And uh, we think that, um, that the, the nexus between food security, water and, and uh, uh, energy should be uh, like completed. And in the case of food security and water, uh, the issue of agriculture comes uh, as a primary, primary element. So we, we think that now they are doing the right thing in including this other uh, dimension that was uh, some sort of uh, uh, not complete in the framework. And, and remind us how serious the, the dangers around desertification are at present. For example, uh, just uh, thank you very much for that question. Just uh, as an example, why uh, we are interested in agriculture is uh, according to studies uh, made uh, a couple of years ago, 75 billion uh, tons of soil are lost to, to land degradation uh, worldwide. If you translate that into, into air, uh, hectares, uh, you will find that um, maybe half of uh, the, the size of England is every year um, sub subject to uh, additional land degradation. So this issue is increasing, the issue is increasing, it's caused by human induced activities and we have to also find some human induced solutions. OK, and let's finish on solutions. We're here at the Climate Change Conference, and obviously climate change plays a big role in um, desertification. What, what sort of kind of policy initiatives are you going to be hoping for? What policy initiatives are you, are you working on this week? The zero, zero net land degradation. If this is a target that we could also at least uh, start um, including into the international negotiation frameworks, we will be in good standing for the next 20 years, for the Rio plus 40, let's say. So um, <clears throat> if uh, the, the, uh, the international community agrees on, on, um, on re stopping, reversing and restoring land, uh, we, we will uh, be able to achieve the, the growing demands for food security, for water and for energy in, that uh, will come inevitably in the near future. So we think that this is a, a great step that the Cl Climate Change Convention is doing. It's, uh, as I said, the last step before Rio Plus 20. We expect that in Rio uh, this, this year there is also some sustainable development goal on land and soil and also the continuation for the um, uh, uh, COP of biodiversity with the, the IEG targets that also relate to land in many, many ways. So the three conventions will have their own sustainable development goals and targets.